Destroy all taxpayer dollars. Insurgency Sandstorm by Russian Badger. The reprise. Welcome to Insurgency Sandstorm. Ah, yes. The sound of an A-10 war. It'll be a good video. Sandstorm, an American dating simulator that offers cutting-edge romance mechanics such as post-traumatic swag disorder and 50-caliber-based dialogue. <laughs> Much like most dating sims, it's all about communication and joint surveillance target attack radar systems because what- You know, Badger's not wrong on that one though. No, I'm not going to explain, but Badger's not wrong on that one. The wrong word can bring an intimate relationship to an end. You're yeah. in the village. Oh what village? I don't know, just blow them all up. I don't care. <laughs> With limited taxpayer dollars is your only constraint, you'll need to export as much freedom as possible to places that definitely never ask for. And you could- could you, in fact, say that America exports the most freedom? Is is this a meme that we can say at this point? It'll sound like another 25 mil streets of Introducing your culture to countries you can't even pronounce is the name of the game. The yeah. more aggressive that introduction, the better. It's nice to meet you, but it's even better to meet me. Oh. <laughs> I will lie to you and say it's all sunshine and rainbows because combat <laughs> contains horrors beyond the comprehension of mortal man. Is this a taunt? Are you taunting the enemy team? Yes. But if you've ever been curious as to where your tax dollars reach their final destination, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Sign up now and join. Get your sign-on bonus in 10 to 15. <laughs> oh my god, Style Dog! Go! Style Dog, Style Dog, Style Dog. Our calm in game is so bad. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Gets blown up wow. by- This just feels like I was in a, I was in a Crota's end recently. Does this feel this feels better than the comms in that? Let's put it this way. It's it may be chaotic, but at least it makes sense. An RPG. Yo, Ron, you good sly? Nice. Oh on God. It's too good. I actually remember nothing of this video. There's a reason that I'm doing some of these. I, this was early, Kip. I have not seen this in a hot minute, and it's so good. And I draw mechanical dinosaurs in oh. our cities to test our readiness against existential threats with only two rules. No police, no military. Just to see if the garbage man, the firefighters, the construction workers, and the non-OSHA compliant, uncertified forklift operators <laughs> could kick the shit out of a T-Rex in an emergency. Get that motherfucker. This has nothing to do with insurgency. It's the design of my new shaker cup. Not Nice. Thanks, my sponsor, GamerSubs. Your prayers have been answered. Here. God, I, I need to get this guacamole gamer far. It sounds like it's a really good flavor. Because you guys bullied me the last time I released one two years ago. 16 ounces? What is this, a fucking sippy cup? Is this a goddamn shot glass? <laughs> this time, it's full size, so you can butt chug 24 whole ounces of my energy drink. Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000 before you need to reload. In I was going to say which mad lad out there is actually going to drink the whole 24 ounces but actually just the powder. And then I realized I probably shouldn't encourage that because someone out there would in fact chug a full 24 ounce of just gamer subs powder. And that's probably, probably, probably not the best for you. <laughs> I mean, refill. Game Badger's one of those creators that I will ping off of because he says so. He says such things like that and I'll ping off him. Then I have to remember, I have to like reel myself back a little bit. <laughs> Because the chaos will just continue to flow. <laughs> Fart is the greatest energy drink on this fucking planet. You are smoking crack if you think I'm ever touching monster again. And bang, more like bang crupsy. Game of Fart is superior with no spike in your blood sugar, no crash, a light 100 milligram boost of caffeine, and as cheap as third world country dirt. Mm, mommy cup. I mean, what? 36 bucks for 100 servings is 36 cents per scoop. It's actually, here's the thing. I, I mean, I'm, I'm arguably... A cheapskate. I mean, it's because I worked in finance, right? Part of it, but also lived poor. And so I'll look at things, right? And I'll look at, oh, I got to a restaurant and I'm like, oh, that's $17 for the sandwich. Man, that price per, uh, price per what you get ratio is kind of off. Or I'll look in the aisles and I'm like, oh, well, this cheese happens to be this price per ounce, but this cheese is this much per ounce. I'll go with that. As someone that does that, I look at this and I'm like, damn, okay. But that price per ounce ratio is, is, or, is a serving round. What whatever he's the price per serving ratio is what I'm gonna call it is absolutely stellar. And I'm looking at this like, no, that 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 that'll send you a long way. It seems like a lot up front, but it's actually because you're mixing it with water, right? It not that I, 
Not that I'm endorsing the product because I'm not sponsored by Gamer Subs. I'm not, but I'd like to be. Man, this is already a good video. Even if you double scoop like me, it's 72 cents. You can't spare 72 cents a day? Fuck you. Start drinking the future of energy drinks at gamersubs.gg slash badger and use code badger for 10% off. We've even got caffeine free. Gamer farts yeah. around forever, but the shaker cup is super special limited time. And once it's gone, it's gone. So you better be quick. Just like this transition to... And Cersei Sandstorm nice. makes me angry because the ratio of how incredible it is to how often I hear about it is criminal. Sir, 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 sir. This video actually made me get it i have logged in once and i need to get a community data together to play this this game looks absolutely phenomenal <laughs> <laughs> it is the perfect balance of dumbass lizard brain arcade shit observer this is station here's a picture of my nuts nice. I'm now. and hardcore airsoft <laughs> simulator shit enemy man 300 meters north fast fast fast, fast. and i cannot believe i've not heard more about this game dog okay. he's got a fucking <laughs> <laughs> I hope he his didn't own <laughs> He's got a bipod <laughs> on his 44 Magnum. Hey, yo, hey, yo, let him cook, though. So hear me out. The bipod's going to weigh down the front of that barrel. <laughs> let, let him cook a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, with a red dot and a suppressor. And I want to tell you why I love it with this awful tutorial that is awful. I don't even know why I'm calling it that. Turn around, dumbass. Right You're going the wrong fucking way. Boot up the game and pick <laughs> PvP or PvE. Got your ass. They're both super fun. And the only difference, apart from the bots, is how quickly you want to meet Jesus. Right. Why did you pick PvE instead of PvP? My main goal is to blow up. And then what? And then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> <laughs> you have one missed call, Heavenly. What the right. fuck is that? <laughs> PvE, PvP, doesn't matter. I'll keep it dummy simple. Pick your game mode, pick your class, pick your loadout, shoot bad guys. If you can't follow that, that, you have brain damage. I just started my first shift at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. My shut the fuck up, man. man. Well, you're watching this video. You definitely have brain damage. Forget it. Push and dominate. You know, he's not wrong. <laughs> he's he's really not wrong. <laughs> It takes a very special game. <laughs> game. Brain. There. Point in case. <laughs> it takes a very special brain to be kit brain are based everything else is cringe push these are classic attackers defenders fighting over a point and i think it goes without saying that running at the machine gun is far less fun than firing the machine yes. gun. yes generally toasted toasted yeah. unless unless you're that one specific person that can juke the entire machine gun fire pattern th then at that point i would argue it's more fun to run at it because you can juke it Again, but the attackers have enough taxpayer dollars to burn that they can turn that defender's machine gun nest into a, let's say, unpleasant place. Oh, we got bomber drones in, bad boys. I'm not scared. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> you probably should. I don't know, man. You might. You might want to be a little shitted right now. Domi Danger close. Never heard of it. <laughs> Nation is a total 180. If you go from playing push to playing Dom, it's gonna feel like you accidentally walked into a base boosted YouTube poop. God damn it, Bobby, I told you. It's so much better when you cut it off. Cause I know he's running into the room with a deagle. <laughs> nice. Oh God. Good shit. <laughs> My stomach hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I figured it out. He's throwing flashbangs and doing it. Stop that. <laughs> Whoa, that was a good one. The map you find yourself on flavors the experience even more. Doesn't matter what game mode you're playing. If you're playing Summit, it's cringe. Doesn't matter what oh. game mode you're playing. If you're playing Prison, it's based. Especially if you hang around A Block. Absolutely cash money every single time. Isn't this but what if I want to go B Block? Like, like in Faz, what if I want to go B Block? Will I have will I have objectively less fun in B block? Is this is this confirmed? Michelle Obama's from? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Holy shit! Prison? <laughs> no. Oh, Isn't Michelle Obama from like a B block or D block, something like that? No, it's O block. Yeah, she's from O block, block bro. What? No, 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 no
What the fuck are you doing down there? I'm here, no man. You can still get lowered to just sort of gentrify Oblog. Classes won't change your experience that much because they're all deadly. Some are just a special kind of deadly. Nice. Half the eight classes are either riflemen or spicy riflemen, which are basically. Look, Mom, I have. Spicy riflemen. Oh boy. Have an M16A4 and shoot bad guys with bullets. Bang. He may be basic, but that doesn't make him harmless because even the most bare bones rifleman can smoke your entire squad. I can't kill this guy, Chad. I'm out of bounds. I can't. Oh, I just came in bounds. That was perfect timing. If you ask <laughs> nicely, <laughs> perfect timing. Perfect timing. I mean, Badger does know one thing, and that is just is clicking on heads very well. He's <laughs> so good. Is rifleman with a side of spicy explosives. Oh, it's God, perfect. That guy. Ah, so how I play Modern Warfare 2. So here's the thing. I go back to regular Modern Warfare 2 from time to time, and I make it my goal to devolve as many lobbies as possible. Do you know how fast, if you're the one running Scavenger Noob Tube, how fast the lobby devolves into suddenly everybody noob tubing and using, like, AT4s and stuff? Like, you can measure it in, like, minutes, if not seconds. It's actually magical. I think I'm a little overdue for that. Somebody! Oh, I got a baby! A? And no <laughs> splash damage! I am a god! I am such a god! Oh, that's a bad guy! Commander is his rifleman with binoculars, but those binoculars can turn everyone on the map to ash, so you yeah. may want to pick somebody that doesn't miss click. So I called an artillery, and I thought I clicked on B, but it turns out I clicked right next to me or something. Oh no. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, with the power to call in the A-10 Warthog, it can be the most gratifying class in the whole game. Oh, perfect. Yo, there it comes! There it comes. That should get people. Baby. <laughs> Absolutely. They got lit up. <laughs> Some funny plane turret go burr. <laughs> yes, I got a kill with it finally. <laughs> well, I got four with that run. In case you don't know what the A-10 is, it's a flying Gatling gun made by a washing machine company oh, that no. specializes in turning bad guys into spaghetti and American soldiers into insurance claims. Oh, oh. <laughs> wait, wait, what did that say? <laughs> what did that say? A10 warplane tops list for friendly fire deaths. Oh my god. Why do I feel like the A10 is a liability, but everybody just loves it? <laughs> Bathtub with a, can a rotary cannon on it. Hell yeah. Oh boy, I sure am excited to see my family again. <laughs> It is the fact the storm that is in fact the storm that is approaching 100%. <laughs> The gun that the A-10 is built around has so much recoil that if it fires for too long, the plane will fall out of the sky. You... <laughs> yes, it will. Oh my god, I remember watching what was it, the laser pig video on this. Oh my god, it's perfect. The lack of lift. <laughs> Wait, what? what? This is actually crazy. Yeah. But with this incredible power of an A-10 or an Apache or heavy artillery, there is tremendous pressure to use it effectively. Because if you don't, your whole team will notice. Kill, not confirmed. Cringe. Activated. Cringe. 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 So it's a delicate balance of calling it in close enough to objectives to maximize casualties, but not so close that those casualties are your own teammates. <laughs> 45, baby. 45 caliber. That's all I need. 45 ACP. Hey, nice gun run. You almost objective. got me, friendly fire. <laughs> almost, keyword. That's why the commander slot is so often empty, because most players don't want that kind of pressure weighing on their every click. I'm going to call an artillery, by the way. I'm swapping to explosive artillery. Oh, get inside oh, right fucking player? now. Get inside, get inside. <laughs> I misclicked. Please do not stay outside. <laughs> no. If you want all the importance but none of the responsibility, play Observer, who is just rifleman with radio. Literally all you do is stand next to the commander to call in his order. It's so simple, it's almost confusing. What's the button? Oh my god, it's a simple roll, but man, how many people mess that up? Oh boy, I've run Destiny Raids. I, you can tell someone to do a very specific thing, and they will find every way in the book to fuck it up. God, running raids is great. You don't. You literally stand next to me. That's <laughs> okay. it. That's all you do. You are needed. Good job. You, you did it. Great. Congratulations. Great. That's great. great. Oh, I'm gone. Advisor gets to run bougie exotic shit like the Devore, but I don't really fuck with the fancy pants guns because Breacher, Marksman, and Gunner offer way more dumbass possibilities. Oh, I'm not suppressed. MG3, I'm a Mickey, madman. Show you something Somebody stop me. Sandstorm feels like the only game in existence that understands the range of shot guns Ooh. Ouch. Uh, and that makes breacher absolutely god tier and, and he so here's the thing about shotguns is a lot of that is just balancing for games like shotguns being super close range pellet spread being certain ways damage drop off it's all a lot of it's for just game balance so 
shotguns really are just that OP in games. Like if they were able to uh, uh, have their intended range and stuff. I mean, I maybe not model 1887 OG Modern Warfare 2 before patch, right? Maybe not that powerful, but they're pretty cracked. The class that lets me use the KS-23 is bonafide base. I got your picture. Farts, um, I'm coming with you. you. Sweet. Sweet. Is a burning hit of tires. Nice. Oh my yeah, god, I'm nuts. I'm nuts. Four gauge is absolutely <laughs> bonkers lunacy nuts. It is a six gauge shotgun. Six. What Europeans would call a four gauge. What the hell is even, even that? Tell my international viewers, the lower the number, the scarier. And a scarier. The lower the number, the bigger. Doesn't Russia have a two gauge, allegedly? It's a two gauge, right? 12 gauge is already a colossal caliber. I was driving through upstate New York and I saw a Tesla with the license plate, I'm him. <laughs> you're, you're who? What? <laughs> who? Who? What do you mean you're who? What? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's like a preemptive strike on who are you? I don't know, but that license plate made me laugh so hard I walked up to his window and put a 12 gauge. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going from that to 10 gauge to 8 gauge to 6 gauge. Uh -huh. Oh, God. I feel equally sorry for both your target and your shoulder. Hey, oh. Yeah, shut the fuck up, housekeeping. <laughs> housekeeping? Got him. Got him. A four gauge indoors. Actually, a four gauge anywhere. Terrifying. Yeah, I yeah. what she said to me was not very nice. I don't know what. Oh. Here it again. The KS 23 is what happened when the Soviets saw an anti aircraft gun and thought, nah. It should be shoulder fire. <laughs> and that's what it is. You are carrying a 23 millimeter discarded anti-aircraft gun barrel. Legend. Any class that lets me shoot that, sign me the fuck up. Hello. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that range is nutty. It is. Jeez. That range is insane. Ugh. Give up now. Got Give up him now. Right in the chest. I cleared it. Got him. I'm nuts. Oh, I'm nuts. Shotgun's just that nutty. It really is. This is perfect. I'm gonna have to main it when I play this. Four gauge. Oh, Four it's nuts! Right, it's magic. so nuts! You guys know I have a habit of using shotguns as sniper rifles and sniper rifles as shotguns. Unironically, this almost feels like how you play Halo Infinite because the shot, the shotgun, the bulldog actually hits from a decent range away. But then you have the, it's got a pretty bad damage drop off though. But then you have the sniper, which I've only ever been able to use like a shotgun. It's wild when I play infinite. The marksman class is no exception. I too use a fucking sniper rifle for CQC. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's long range, short range, small map, big map. Every situation I see is a nail, and the M82 I'm holding is a hammer. Hey, yeah. Hey, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just the concept back in the day. We had a quick scoping with the intervention, right? You uh, you quick scope to halt your movement and whatever your center of screen was where the intervention bullet was going. Oh, why don't yeah, you get guy. back outside, buddy? You chose the wrong alleyway, <laughs> boys. He, he dropped a couple notches after that. Oh my god! god like a freight me. train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Full like range too. I penetrated the bars and killed that guy. Badger genuinely surprised when his anti-material rifle goes through material. Accurate. <laughs> Truly one of the highlights. Well, I mean, it's one of those things that you just don't expect that some games just have a hard barrier there and you don't have bullet penetration. So it's really cool when you do see games like that that have that bullet penetration. Insurgency sandstorm. I cannot get enough of this thing. That thunderous crack of a 50 BMG every time you pull the trigger makes it feel like you're punching a hole in the universe. Yeah. Even watching this footage does not do the feeling justice oh the cover's not gonna save you big boy here i'll find the dude on c just give me a second oh <laughs> oh oh, I found that. oh. <laughs> Jeez. got him nutty oh. yep you're right Got you, I got you. If Breacher isn't dumb enough for you and Marksman isn't dumb enough for you, Gunner has to be dumb enough for you. Dumb because moment. if you're playing it right, you're grabbing either an MG3 or an M240B, which according to Marine Corps manual stands for Bingus, by the way. You are never getting- Oh my God, I remember that. It does stand for Bingus, right? People think it stands for Bravo, but it's Bingus off the ground you are never taking off your bipod and you are never letting go of the trick that's how you play gun <laughs> definitely got a couple there super fun got him this is the pace that i'm comfortable moving while using an m240 oh, bingus I mean, yeah very dead <laughs> very dead no, nope, that's just okay. not gonna happen. Not when I'm ungovernable. <laughs> no. Hello, sir. Peeking corners as a legless noodle. Well, I may be strafing the building that we're going into. 
Oh. Damn, Wait a minute. Oh my god. <laughs> Gross, that guy wanted to die so badly, he was levitating towards that 810 gun run. Solid screw gravity moment. Once you pick the class, customization comes next, and you are only limited by supply points. It's time to co co compromise, because if you want this, you I, can't- I caught that, I caught that Yu-Gi-Oh reference. I caught that. Have that. You want a fancy ass <laughs> primary with fancy ass attachments? Then you can't have extra ammo and you can't have armor. Oh, I look Jesus, like a fucking man. optometrist Shoot. right now. What is yeah. this? You want extra armor and extra ammo? Then you're gonna have to settle for a bare bones primary. Weight is also a thing. Like if you pack on a ton of gear, your character's sprint and ADS time really sucks, but you'll catch on in five minutes. Honestly, this game does sound better the more and more I hear about it. Like there's just certain things that like I take for granted from like Call of Duty and Battlefield and stuff. But honestly, this sounds like this could be a really great tactical shooter. I'm curious what the active uh, player base is still like. It's all trade-offs, and you can get crazy creative with it. A favorite of mine is stripping away everything but a deagle, all the way down to 9% weight. So oh. I can run around like a moron at the speed of sound, <laughs> blasting 50 Action Express. <laughs> Yeah. How is that yeah. possible, chat? How is that possible? I don't like this one, man. Oh, deagled. This. Fuck yeah. This is awful. Yeah, double deagled. <laughs> I'm just executed. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Wow. Nuts. Take it oh, back, my man. God. I'm cracked. Got that. <laughs> what? Oh, one zap. <laughs> Nice to meet you, uh, but it's even nicer to meet me. Any, uh, any, any bad guys in the vicinity? If you look like I can't. What the fuck? <laughs> Shiba or a clown? <laughs> you look like Shigo or a clown hit me up. Ayo, ayo, I don't need this call out right now. Look, people should have known I was going to be a menace to society when Shigo was my go-to. All I'm going to say on that. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> bee. <laughs> Just nuts. Just just spray around the corner with a deagle and kill two people. Yet another reason why I love this game. Every weapon is deadly enough that you can get away with some of the dumbest loadouts as long as your tactics are equally dumb. Dude. Even the classics are available, like a 32 ACP well rod, which is basically a bolt action pistol. I want the oh, well rod kill. The team. I want Give it. me the well rod kill. Oh, it's so good. God. The amount of shit you can put on these classics is definitely sacrilegious, but sometimes you just gotta slap a loudener on your garand and air out the whole prison. The Garand with the Loudner really is what? the best. The what? The, the Garand with the Loudner. It's actually a Yo, I got it's a white insider, but it looks I like got a light it out with <laughs> tracers. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're just turning into the party gun at this point. God. Why did Pop Smoke just kill Clue? I'm so confused. <laughs> Tell me the name of your god. I'm holding you to assume that I have one. <laughs> yeah. Holding a oh magnet to the mushroom's head. Tell me the name of God, you Funko piece of shit. The cooler of God was like a Funko Pop or something. Oh my that god. Is, <laughs> damn. That, that is how mad chair. Heavenly was. Heavenly was so <laughs> mad. He put a chair through a plate glass window. <laughs> Look at this dog. Oh my god. Oh, Heavenly's I'm mad. Heavenly is just next level. We don't question it. Absolute mad lad. Sure. That was the most sacrilegious <laughs> shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh, hey, my bullets won't even go through that glass. And oh, Heavenly god. put a chair through it. God as a <laughs> that is actually cursed. I'm not a cyber psycho. I can't. I can't. I can't someone help. Oh, oh, somebody. Oh, Jesus. Christ. Oh, double kill with the Garand, baby, on the ping. Awful. Oh, lit up. Lit up. With the Loudner inside the crate. Oh, God. The Loudner. Look at it. It's a Loudner. It's not a suppressor. It only makes. I'm gonna now see. Here's the thing: is now I'm gonna have somebody send me a stupid curse video about a loudener. I'm already calling it. it it's gonna be so stupid. So, so, someone's gonna make the loudener. It's my shit louder. Just have the proper paperwork. Wait, scream like that again? You sound like the finale. Yo, that was like the. <laughs> we got voice actors in this call. <laughs> No matter the weapon you choose, I cannot exaggerate how much the developers nailed their weapons. The sound, the reloads, the recoil. Oh, they look oh good. my god, the recoil is so crisp. Oh, I popped him, booger. It I looks saved good. your fucking life. I'm so sick of every developer acting like shooting 9 mil out of a Glock or 556 out of an M16 is an exhilarating experience. With it's really not. Nine and five five six you can fall asleep on. All this smoke and jitter and kick. It's not at all. If you are holding those weapons correctly, they should barely move in your hands. Yeah. And it's certainly not a jarring experience. 
assume Got we're not going to start a video essay here. I just want it known that their weapon design is second to none. It's not even about yeah. the realism either. It's about the touchy-feely satisfaction when you fire any of these weapons that just feels right. Oh, no RPG for you today, buddy. Dude, Sorry. I Getting pixel peaks in this game is just the most Oh man, triple kill, game. baby. This triple. satisfaction extends to their sound design as a whole. It it's, is so incredibly tight. tight. The, the, the sound design is very crisp. I'm absolutely digging it. Tight, tight, yeah. Firing a Panzerfaust, plowing somebody over with a Toyota, <laughs> or putting a 50 BMG <laughs> through an engine block, their attention to detail with every single sound is incredible. Oh, <laughs> what? Got him. What? Did I just hear someone scream, I love Ray Liotta, and blow up the technical? <laughs> no, he said, this is my Toyota. Oh. I point blank that oh. shit with a Panzerfaust. Oh. There is only point blanking with the Panzer. I played Battlefield, what was it? Was it 5? I played Battlefield 5 once. It was where they had to do these multiplayer missions, right? And I was playing, and the person I was playing with was like, Kip, are we doing this sneaky or not? And I literally, because you, you had to kill the target right in the, the building, I literally just whip out the Panzerfaust as he's saying that, fire it, and go, okay, we're done, let's go. <laughs> Solid, just relate. Oh. <laughs> Got his ass eliminated. I call that my main menu text. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Oh, oh Jesus. bro, I can't hail a cab in the for shit, bro. bro. I am first moment Toyota Tacoma be like, I ain't hear nothing. Y'all hear some second bullet legal <laughs> nuclear bomb. Swag Messiah. But the best sound feature in the game has to be proximity voice chat. Yes. The mic spam in Sandstorm is so loud and so strange, it makes a hardcore military simulator feel like a Gmod server. I got your picture. I'm coming with you, dear Maria. <laughs> I got somebody while singing that. Cabin B block, that's that's, that's kind of cringe. Cringe. Did I just hear no one needs a loud share the shower? Yeah. The shit am I listening to? The better call Saul Trap B. No. You're making frog noises. No, I'm about to kill a frog. That's Aww. fucking weird. <laughs> now hey, yo, you went hard that round. Thanks. <laughs> frog. <laughs> You're listening to 1082 The Crunch. <laughs> Real trap shit. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what? He has my Tab G voice back and he's spamming it in game. I just heard Swouse. <laughs> I'm dead serious. <laughs> Gamers joining CTE like, oh, I don't want to impose. I'm about to impose. I'm about to. Um, uh, the, the industrial revolution and uh, its consequences. consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Are you are you repairing? <laughs> are you repairing our conversation? Oh, Speaking no, of the like Irish right. Republican Army, uh, so I was at work the other day. Oh and no! Bomb. The players are yet another reason why I love the game. Because if you're doing some dumb shit like running around prison with a 50 BMG, they'll catch on immediately and all switch to 50s. This is the kind of thing I miss. I feel like a lot of players moved on from old games like Modern Warfare 2 and stuff. And there's a few good gamers holding out in games like this. And that always makes my day just better. Because that is, oh, it's such a blast from the past. I like the oh my rifle. god, you go back. You fucking lose it. Yeah. When you are just that both missing bad. close <laughs> range. Yeah. <laughs> That kind of energy <laughs> behind each shot. Oh my god. <laughs> I got that guy. Oh, oh. I jumped out of a hole in the park. He <laughs> shot me. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry, dude. I'm gonna cry. He shot me back up where I came from. <laughs> that was an actual return to sender. Literally two. I actually, I was about to say return to sender too. I totally forgot he was gonna say that. Storm troopers, you gave 50 BMGs. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo. <laughs> no. 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 no, bro. Nah. My man was the flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> Look out. Oh my god, the hip fire. Wait, friendly, friendly, friendly. Oh, <laughs> that was a rough miss. If he was a little to the right, it looked like he would have been fine. <laughs> Napoleon? Hey, fucking imagine getting friendly fire with a 50 BMG. Imagine. Imagine, imagine teammates. Sorry, imagine. Yeah, my client pleads oopsie daisy. Oh my. I 
find out that tinnitus has ascended. Soon you will give other people tinnitus. Oh, he really tried to get me with an M4, you dumb piece of shit. No. How is a sniper more unreliable than every other fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I hit the, the irony. Actually <laughs> right I hope you now understand why Insurgency Sandstorm is the perfect blend of arcade and simulation, and why I'm so glad I haven't perished in a pipe bomb explosion so I can still play games like this. Yeah. Let the record show that your video memes are making rounds in the furry community, and I love it, lol. That's because I don't want the the furry community to pipe bomb my mailbox. mailbox. It's a very strategic <laughs> effort as an ambassador of the furry community. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> As an ambassador of the furry community, you're on a whitelist. Don't worry. A quick reminder to buy Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000 using code Badger because it's the greatest energy drink in the universe. I see gamer subs in your pack. Give me some of that. No, no, no. Stay away from me. It's mine. I used code Badger for for a 10% off. I will fucking. This is perfect advertising. I love it. Tell you if you say that again. <laughs> <laughs> and if you buy Insurgency Sandstorm on the Epic Games Store, please use my creator code, the Russian Badger. Because I get a kickback and I always need more money. Money, 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 money. money, 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 money. <laughs> you should not be legally allowed to commit crimes while you're listening to Leonard Skinner. <laughs> 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 you're not allowed to commit crimes, period. I mean, I feel really stupid. They're illegal. Oh, no. Are you fucking lying? I forget that that's actually a thing. People think it's Leonard Skinner. Oh, man. I forgot. Skinner. Leave my, my lobby. Oh, bro. <laughs> Oh, oh, fuck gosh. this bup, guys. <laughs> playing like three fifths of a meme, like halfway through. Don't say three fifths. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it, dog. That is all that I have to say about Insurgency Sandstorm. I did not realize that I still had spaghetti sauce on my lips when I started making this video. Amazing. It's not mom's spaghetti, it's my spaghetti. And it's the only thing that I can taste after having a certain sickness that I won't mention because I'll get demonetized. Monetize for it. I'm healthy he now. The I'm over it, but the only thing that I can taste is like chunks of beef, and it's really fucking weird. Yeah. Once again, thank you so much yeah. for watching my video, and be sure to tune in next time when I either play Modern Warfare 2 or War Thunder. I haven't decided yet. What if I just fucking blew your mind and played like Devil May Cry 5 or something you would never think I'd ever play in a million years? I'm not gonna do that shit, but I could. Badger, Badger could do that, and I would love a Devil May Cry Badger. That, I think that'd go over fairly well, actually, with this with this uh, recent Badger style. I, I think it would go over very well. It's perfect. Oh my god, it this even on rewatch, this was excellent. I absolutely loved this, and I will definitely be picking up Insurgency Sandstorm at some point soon. I'll make sure to ping people in the the Discord for when we want to do a uh, when we want to do a community night or you know. Whatever. We'll figure it out at the very least. That was excellent. What is your favorite Insurgency Sandstorm moment? What is your favorite weapon attachment combination? How do you run that? Do you think Badger would make an excellent Devil May Cry 5 video? Let me know in the comments section, and I will see you in the next one.